Man, <laughs> I just love how every item, just, just to go get one item, just to go get one vaccine, it's like this perilous quest where at any point something could kill you. I don't know why he's suddenly grudging me. Can you escape from Emerald Weapon? Yes. You can. Pretty sure you can. 90% sure you can. This time I'm going to stay up here. Yeah, I didn't know that it was that hard to run away, but I was pretty sure it's possible. might want sadness in case Shadow Flare actually hits me. I shouldn't have healed, I should have just used my limit. Oh well. I'm not as worried about my items anymore because I think by the time I grind to where I need to be, I'm gonna have all the items I want. Job, Dunker. Ooh, an X potion. That's random. That's the thing with escaping in this game, it's really random. Learned that the hard way with the speed run, because we needed to get like one to two turn runaways on every fight. And there were many times where deep into the run I would just get some like five turn escape. It would just completely trash by time. You know what? I haven't fought these things yet. Hurt. Ooh, they give turbo ethers. So, I wonder if I kill them while they're asleep if they won't roulette me. Because don't they roulette as like a death move? It's a final attack. Because my chances of survival if they both roulette is pretty much zero. Oh, Gen 1! Thanks so much for being here, man. 
Maybe if they die to poison, they won't roulette. How much health do they have? A lot, apparently. Like, over 7,000. Or maybe, like, exactly 7,000. Alright, good. Oh, they're called Death Dealers. So not bad XP. You can steal Turbo Ethers. I don't know if they drop them too, they probably do. My dragon zombie. Uh, yes, you can jump back up there. It can be kind of a weird spot, but you can definitely do it. You kept jumping back down? Hmm. No idea. I have no idea. I've never seen that happen. Then there's your answer. Zombie, please. Dragon zombie, please.
No thanks. I'm sure you can get dragon zombies here. You don't have to go to like the next screen without jumping down. I'm pretty sure you can get them here. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe you gotta go here and then not jump. I don't know, that doesn't seem right. Didn't I get one on the previous screen yesterday? Oh no. He's got a miss. The other one has to miss. Stare. <laughs> Stare indeed. This vaccine is turning into a problem. And I got it so fast the first time. Thanks for stopping by, Meriseth. Dragon Zombie, here we go. Death Dealer. And yeah, no I wonder he's so hard to steal from. Being level 77. Bro, just wait till you hear how many sevens are in the In Depth of Cloud video. It seems like every time there has, there's a number related to Cloud, it's always seven. Try to get some remedies here. I'm trying to remember, there was one in particular that I read and I was like, wow, really? They just had to make it seven? I forget what it was. I got two. Nice. <laughs> I got the last one from the counter. Well, we definitely have enough remedies now. For like, ever. So, I can't imagine needing that many. Ow. 
But who knows how long that safer fight's gonna go. Zombie time. Or not. Dragonian Zambonian. How could you? At least it's not a pincer. The camera for this fight looks like the dragon zombie. Yeah, look at that Giga Dunk damage. Is that. Also, it looks like you are immune to confuse. Is that back row damage? Like, if I put him in front row, would he do more? Because that's crazy if that's the case. I'm doing like 3k with Vincent's starting weapon. Finally. Oh wait, we want Pandora's box, not Shadow Flare. That did not feel good. This dude. This dude. We're getting vaccines, not Pandora's box. I just didn't have enough MP to cast it. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me with this guy. Stop it. Thank you. Yo, Luna, I think it was a 56 months. And thank you for the happy six years. Appreciate it. Oh, and see Mark. With the tier 259 months. Holy moly. Thank you, my man. Take that. Now, don't do anything silly. No. No goofy stuff here. I could maybe shield just to be safe, but... It's fine. It's gonna be fine.
Oh, get me the heck out of here. Man, that was... That was a struggle. Maybe I'll just stick to three. <laughs> I was gonna get four, but... Maybe I'll just stick to three for now. And uh, I think I'm gonna go get some more X potions because I'm a bit low. Actually, before I do that... Let's do a little experimentation. Does anybody know how much health the robot has? The shame is, the shame is that fight is kind of rare. But at least I can try to get elixirs while I'm looking for them. Okay. Hmm. That should be a pretty nice number, like two shadow flares, and he should be close. How's it going, Chryso? I still think this grind is going to be too rough to be worth it, but. Every time I get a guard source, it means that when I use my hero drinks, I'll get just that much more defense. So. But, see, here's my problem. The physical attack from Sephiroth, I should survive every time, even with my current stats, unless it crits. If it crits, I don't think any amount <laughs> of level I got, like, I'm going to have to be level 75 before I survive it. So I feel like this is probably a meaningless endeavor. Because, like, I'm already surviving the regular hit, and I think the crit is just going to be way too strong for me to ever survive. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I still kind of want to try it just to see. Um, also, what are the chances of this? Uh, oh. I think Zuloff was wrong yesterday. I think he was thinking of New Threat. Because this guy does not drop that item he was saying he drops. <laughs> I'm sure if I said he was wrong, he would come up with an excuse as to why he isn't wrong, though. <laughs> Sad. I can't trust anything anymore. Yeah, this is the other problem. This robot, like, never appears. Let's go, dragon. Ooh. I like that. Now oh, please run. Please. I'm begging you. I love that Master Tomberries are terrifying in this mod. This challenge. Brings them back to their full glory.
Yeah, I think that's a pretty fruitless endeavor. Let's try to get at least one, though. Yeah, we've officially reached easy mode now. So what else? Go get some more X potions and then probably just level up a bit more. And then we'll probably try the bosses again. And the bosses will go quicker this time. So that'll be nice. Oh, I thought it was a golem. Man. This guy never shows up. Yeah, it's, it's way more fruitful just to level up. Pretty good chance you'll get the same defense from just leveling up. Yo, we got a Phoenix down. Let's freaking go. So, yeah, what do you say, 10k? So that'll get us relatively close. You ever notice he has a tail? Kind of weird. Why does he have a tail? So that's... he's at 84. Oh, I forgot he can do this garbage. <laughs> yeah, okay. This this source farm blows. I'm just gonna go ahead and, go ahead and say it. This source farm is not going to be fun. Do 65. Then he defends like every time. <laughs> oh no. Can I at least poison him? No. Well, if I had my regular attack, it'd be fine, but I have my limit. So wait, what's he at? 84, he's at like 89 now. What? His magic defense goes up too? Man, that would have been like perfect if I could throw one more, but now I'm out. At least he doesn't attack much. Well, I didn't even hit you and you're defending? What a troll. Imagine being this guy.
I've never seen this guy on my screen for this long. Mostly just collecting items. I want to go up like a couple levels, but nothing crazy. Nice crit! And just collecting some items. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Worst farm ever. Do not attempt that. <laughs> you are so much better off just leveling up. That is, that is miserable. I could have spent all that time getting elixirs and big chunks of XP and big chunks of AP and turbo ethers like most of the fights in this area I'm getting at least something out of it oh it's just miserable dude these elixirs are coming so easy now it's amazing I'm just gonna run from this screw it I got that elixir so fast alright never mind being jerks. give him a nice punctuation in space, and then I'm gonna unleash the dunk. I'm gonna crank the dank. Unleash the dunk. Come on and slam. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. I should increase the speed. Now that we're back to grinding. No, hopefully not for long. and then we'll probably go get some high potion or X potions. Nice. Uh, yes. Master Tomberries will be scarier now. At higher. Uh, nice, we survived. Higher battle speed. Mm. 
You don't surround the Gigadunk. The Gigadunk surrounds you. We can kind of survive these. I had to dodge two attacks. But yeah, this is the second time I've survived this, I think. So I think, I think Vincent's limits don't actually get more attack from from uh, front row, because this is a pincer, which means rows don't matter, and he's still doing like the same damage. So that's really interesting. Even the attacks that look like they're regular front row physical attacks, they they do max damage from back row. It's probably because the game checks your weapon and not the attack. So like, it knows that you have a long range weapon, so it just makes it long range. That's my guess. more and more things. Okay. Um, how many elixirs do I have? Five? I wouldn't mind getting a double pot. that like Final Fantasy 10 has an equally deep system but I think it's more of the amount of options you have rather than the actual system itself I don't know if any game has as deep of a system as this game has just in terms of like all the different mechanics that can all play off of each other and stuff 10 has like more going on, but it's more because of, like, how many abilities and how many items and how many different enemies and, like, just the amount of different things. But in terms of, like, damage calculation and formulas and ailments and everything, like, this game is pretty nuts. Yeah, like, 8 has a lot of options, but when it comes to, like, the actual mechanics of the fight, there's not, it's not as deep. I mean, 7 also has the Materia system, but, you know, I think that... I don't know. I'm trying to be unbiased here. <laughs> but, like... I don't know, it's crazy. It, it's honestly crazy. Yeah, we got Mug now, which is kind of cool, because now we have a counter-attack. We have a built-in counter-attack now. We have Poor Man's counter-attack. Don't do it. Yeah, I don't think this game has, like, the most options of any game ever. But I do think, like, the amount of formulas going on and mechanics that all interweave. And I think a lot of it is just because I've played it for so long that I know those things exist. You know, like, 10 might have that many mechanics and I just don't know them because I haven't played 10 as much as this. But, I don't know. The more I play it, the more I realize, like, 
It just kind of never ends with this game. Ow. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Nice, I one-shot one of them. One more level and I should be one-shotting all these guys. I don't need to steal from them because they have a 100% chance to drop if you don't steal. Also, Vincent's mug animation is incredible. Just the fact that he runs up to you and like grab something and then shoots you in the face on the way out. This would probably be the last pop fight I do for a bit. Yeah, Zodiac Age is going to be soon. Like, either right after Fantathon or even before Fantathon's over. It's the next game on Trophy Quest, but I skipped it because we were playing it already. So it's going to be very soon. I cannot wait to play Zodiac Age because it's going to feel so good to, like, times four the game like crazy after doing it the legit way. If I had played Zodiac Age first, I would have watched all the cutscenes and really only used Times 4 when it was like necessary. But now that I just beat the game and did everything on the original, I'm gonna blast through it. I'm gonna Times 4 the whole thing. Skip all the cutscenes, Times 4 everything, and just like blast through the game. It's gonna be super fun. I'll have no reservations about using those cheats. Although I probably won't use God Mode, but Times 4. Oh yeah. We times four in the whole game. Yeah, 16 will be separate from Fantathon, but it'll be its own Let's Play. It'd be silly to add it to Fantathon. Fantathon is its own thing, and... It would be all out of order and stuff. Oh no. Why? I just hit myself. Miss! Why well, you gotta be this way, game? Maybe I'll just keep those elixirs. Nah, we'll keep going. I want to get one more pot fight. chair right there. Sun comes out. That's a shame. I can't keep him asleep now while I'm stealing. I don't really mind the mug, but can't keep him asleep. Man, look at him go. He's blasting him. Giving him the business. Like, Vincent is actually a pretty okay physical attacker now with his four man's counter attack.
Nice. All right, I'm gonna try this. I'm just curious. But I'm pretty sure after that pincer attack, pretty sure that he just does max damage from back row. 6,000 HP now. Oh, well, of course. Of course, now he live wires. This game hates me today. <laughs> Giving me the business today. One more fight, and then we'll uh, pause to get lunch. Perfect. Loves me, except when it doesn't. See, so yeah, I think I, I come back, come back from lunch, we get a few more elixirs, we go get some X potions, and then we try again. All we've gotten is a few levels, but I, I do think that every level is making a pretty big difference. And as long as we don't get crit, we should be able to survive everything he does. And then just kind of slowly take him down. We have a single vaccine. <laughs> We have three vaccines. We have, we have one more vaccine than we had before. How's it going, pet friend? That's a shame. I only went up one level because I was really close to going up the level. Rather, even though I was really close to going up a level, I still only got one level. So we're kind of at that point now. We're just getting one level per pot. Fight. Okay. Let's take a break, grab lunch, and then we'll jump back in.